Hello everyone, it's another edition of Victor Esibo Reviews. Um, in the past couple of weeks, a lot has happened in Nigeria. Uh, beginning from the NSARS protest, uh, Nigerians taking to the streets to say that enough is enough. And you know, so many things happened. There were lots of lootings, hoodlums hijacked the whole process, and warehouses stored with palliatives, COVID-19 palliatives, were boggled. You know, those things were meant for the common man, but some persons in high places sat on those things, stored them away in warehouses. Those warehouses were, you know, boggled. There were jailbreaks in certain cities, you know. Uh, Nigeria was virtually in a state of emergency. You know, the military waded in, some peaceful protesters lost their lives. Now, the purpose of this video is this. I want to ask a question. Why do we, religious bodies, churches, mosques, why do we waste our time and our energy praying for Nigeria? Any prayer binding the devil, saying that, you know, the devil should die, they will be casting out the devil, praying for Nigeria. We are just wasting our time. We are just wasting our time because God will not answer that prayer. I'll, before you criticize me, let me come. Let me land first. Who is the devil? You are in church. You are praying. You are casting and binding the devil. Who is that devil? The Bible describes the devil as somebody whose mission is to come and rob and kill okay if you are a government official and you've been given money to tar a road and you refuse to tar that road and lives are lost as a result of accidents resulting from the bad state of that road what have you done you have killed you are a killer okay now if you hold a public office and all you do is loot all you do is extort you are a robber you are a thief so the moment you can thief and you can kill that automatically qualifies you to be a devil the devil that we should be bothered about are the ones that we ourselves vote into public offices the looting, the extortion, all these things are devices that are holding us down. Please leave the devil out of this. Leave the devil out of this. The devil is not responsible for the bad governance going on in Nigeria. The devil is not a governor in any of the 36 states in Nigeria. The devil is not a minister. The devil is not the president of Nigeria. So going to the church, binding the devil, and you know praying and kabashing and fasting you're just wasting your time god is not listening god has already given nigeria all that nigeria needs to be great if you are praying for nigeria you are wasting your time because god has settled nigeria bunny light crude nigeria's crude oil is the lightest anywhere in the world ask the best the kind of crude oil that comes from nigeria cannot be obtained anywhere in the world nigeria is blessed with human and natural resources, vast ones. The kind of money that Nigeria makes on a daily basis from crude oil, many countries don't make it. Yet, other countries, they make far less than Nigeria makes, and, you know, they utilize it better. So why are you praying for Nigeria? Why are you disturbing God? God has settled Nigeria. The mineral resources we have in this country, even if you go to agriculture, you will see that we have we have very, very good climates where all types of crops and plants can thrive. What else do you want from God? The kind of money that, you know, Nigerian politicians have stolen over the years. Even David Cameron of UK said, if they steal the kind of money that has been stolen from Nigeria, Britain will cease to exist if they steal that kind of money in Britain. So why are you praying for Nigeria? Don't waste your time praying for Nigeria again. No, don't wait. Pray for your family. Pray for your loved ones. Pray that God blesses you people individually. Don't pray for Nigeria collectively. 
because there are people in government who will make sure that, that your prayer does not work. God has settled Nigeria, but we keep electing corrupt people into offices who extort our money. Corruption everywhere. You see the police, the Economic and Financial Crisis Commission chasing Yahoo boys about, <clears throat> arresting these boys. Who are the role models that Yahoo boys will learn from? Who, who are the role models? The lawmakers, the senators, the House of Rep members, those ones are the senior thieves. So these young guys that are doing internet fraud, they have nobody to look up to as role models. And if you look at it, economic and financial crimes, internet fraud, is linked with these politicians. They work hand in hand. They are linked. They are linked. And hardworking individuals are the ones in the middle of these old crime. You are hardworking. I am hardworking. We work hard. We make money. This money we make, we give it back to government in form of tax. Anything you buy, there's VAT on it, value-added tax on it. Okay? And there's payee, pay as you earn. You pay tax from your hard work. You pay it to the government. What does the government do? The government carries the money eh, and gives it to the politicians. What do the politicians do? The politicians take the money abroad to invest. What do these Yahoo boys do? These Yahoo boys bring the money from abroad by scamming people abroad and bringing it back to Nigeria. As soon as the money lands in Nigeria, EFCC will chase these boys, grab them, collect the money. Where does the FCC take the money to? They give it back to the government. And government will do what? Give it back to the politicians. And the money goes abroad again. And the Yahoo boys bring it back again. It's a vicious cycle with the, 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 the upright individuals being in the, at the center of it all. See, only Nigerians can solve Nigerian problem. Only Nigerians can solve Nigerian problem. Because those that are stealing from us, those that are responsible for the, for the, for the backwardness, for the poor economy, for the lack of basic amenities in Nigeria, are Nigerians themselves, not the devil. Not the devil. So please, leave the devil out of Nigerian problem. Leave the devil out of it. You can call me the devil's advocate, but devil, we have, we have gone to make research. We have gone to check. We didn't see the devil's hand in Nigeria's problem. Hey! We saw the same people whom you voted into offices. They are the ones whose hands we saw in charge of the problem. So leave the devil out of this case. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, if it's your first time here, consider subscribing. I do a lot of talk about reality, stuff that edifies you mentally, physically, and spiritually. Till I see you next time with another banging video, I remain Victor Isibo. I'm out.